Hello and welcome to Ark, the complete series. Well, it may be a, a wet and rainy day, but where we're going, we're actually going to get a lot wetter. Because we're going to be going out into the ocean today. The plan is, we're going to go in search of deep sea loot crates, because there's some some actually interesting uh, gear that we could get from these things. They're, they're pretty much spread out around the, you know, like the, the ocean, if you will. The, uh, if you start off in the southeast corner of the map, uh, you can work your way all the way across uh, that southern coast, right away up the west coast, then along the north coast, and end at uh, Dead Island. And somewhere among that big vast ocean ra <laughs> range, there will be two deep sea loot crates at any one moment in time. Now, you are on timers. Um, but the strategy that I'm going to be using is basically we're going to be going in search of two and that's pretty much it because uh, I want to maximize my chances of getting really good loot out of these. Uh, there is a it's like a quick way of getting around the map uh, using the ichthyo uh, ichthyosaurus like basically the little dolphins uh, but uh, for a starter we'll be going out with the, the Basilosaurus. Well, Assume I can find them. There's one of them. Oh, they're both over there. I assume something must have spawned here and they went after it. So the plan is we're we're actually going to head over to the, the southeast corner. We're going to start there. We're going to work our way around the map. Uh, we'll be going with the Basilosaurus. And then we're actually just going to identify where the two loot crates currently are. And then we're going to come up with a bit of a strategy of uh, how to maximize our loot quality. So, see you shortly. Okay, so we're pretty much where the first one starts. So that's right down here in the, in the southeast corner of the map. It's 89.7, 90.6. So if it was going to spawn here, we would see it. It's, it is difficult to, to sometimes spot them. You've got to come all the way right down, I find. But it isn't here. So we're going to head off and look for another one. Now, the, the reason I brought the Basilosaurus is we're doing like our first run, if you will. I mean, you've got Moses around this place. You'll have, um, well, yeah, you've got your electric eels. You'll get uh, jellyfish and all sorts. So, because we're just starting off, I'm bringing this uh, this dude along with me because I feel a heck of a lot more safer. Uh, but also because when we do find one of the loot crates, I'm going to make it easier for myself to identify. I'm going to put some pillars down. Uh, they should then, you know, next time we go there, uh, we'll be able to spot the location easier. I mean, it's pretty easy to find it to be honest because you just, you know, you just use the GPS anyway. But uh, hopefully that will make things a bit easier. Now, there is, as I was saying, there's like two of them in existence at any one time. And uh, as soon as you open up one of them, it starts, uh, it's like a 25 minute timer anyway. Um, seeing how far, so the next one's at 69.8, so it's a good way to go yet. But yeah, so it starts like a 25 minute timer. If you don't pick up the next crate within that 25 minutes, then a crate will spawn. If you pick up, uh, both, if you manage to open both of them, the time is like 40 minutes. So it's, um, I mean, it's not too bad. I mean, it, it is feasible where you could literally find, you know, two of them quite close to each other. I mean, there's there's four of them right up in the northeast corner, for instance. It's it's perfectly feasible for two of them to spawn then. You'll, you'll just get them straight away. Otherwise, you know, I'm, I'm just going by the random uh, numbers here. It's, so it's a case I'm just going to start at the beginning, which for me is going to be the southeast corner. Work my way all the way around the map, uh, find out where these crates are, and then we're going to start looking to maximise uh, loot quality. So, we're going to keep searching. Uh, when I find one, I'll bring you back. Okay, so we've found our first one. Uh, now this one, uh, that's it right there. So I'm at 10.9.4. If you, I mean that's pretty the official uh, location according to the wiki. Now 
what I'm thinking of doing is using these, if we can, to basically mark the location. Just to make it sort of like easier for me to spot where the actual... I mean, this, this particular one's pretty easy to find. But, I just want to see... Uh, yeah, it doesn't show up too easily. Let's get these ones off of you. Find them. It's just the idea is if we come... Hang on a minute, where do they all go to? Did I pass them over? Or did I... Where did they go? Oh, that's not good. That wasn't the plan. <laughs> right, well jump back on you again. So the, the plan is that the next time I pass this way, in theory I should be able to see it easier. I mean it's pretty easy enough just going to the exact location to be honest, you know, just going to the coordinates, but in theory it's easier to spot, you know, using those pillars. I'm going to have to go and get some more actually, but um, the key point is, there it is, there's where a loot crate spawns, so Next time I pass this way, I know an, an easier way. I don't have to keep, you know, keep looking at the GPS exactly all the time. Now, as far as I'm aware, the, you can put these pillars down. Uh, you can even put it right down on the spot where it actually spawns, and it, the loot crate will still spawn there. Now, as tempting as it is to actually go and open that, there is a there is a way to actually get better loot quality out of these things. Um, and there's a, that's basically because there's a, there's a water dino that our uh, wild card, I should say, introduced. And it's, um, it's a passive team, so that's the reason I've got some beer with me. Uh, you can only, once you tame it, yeah, you can only keep a hold of it for a short period of time. It's on a timer, and then it uh, despawns. But once you've got it, once you ride it, you get a buff from it. Uh, and if you open a, an actual loot crate with that buff on you, you should get better loot quality. So I'm just going to make a note of that because that was crate number nine for me. Uh, so it says it's northwest of White Sky Peak, apparently. So just get my bearings while we're here. I mean, actually, I mean, I, I'm sort of like uh, spending a bit of time getting this dude actually leveled because we spotted an Alpha Tuso while we were looking around places. So yeah, so it's this place right here, where I found this one right up on the northwest. So I've made a note where that is. I'm going to keep my eye out for any of these mythical water dinos. There's, uh, there are a few of them in, in existence at any one time. It's not like the unicorn where you only get one at a time. Well, actually, that's a lot easier to spot now, you see. Uh, but um, the idea is you'll, you'll want to tame one of those up and then basically use that to get better quality loot crates. But what I tend to find is sometimes they actually spawn near to where these um, loot crates are, or at least where you'd find them. And they're only aggressive if you're on a mount. So as long as you like get off your mount, then you should be able to tame them pretty easily. Now, it, it's because of that timer, it's the reason why I'm not opening that loot crate up now. Well, A, I don't have a, an actual dino in the first place. But B, I wanna, A, I want to go and find out where these loot crates are. And if I can, I want to see if I can find out where one of these uh, water, di water dinos are. Because then the idea is we'll go and tame one of those uh, and go in search of the actual loot crates. Or at least we know where the loot crates are. That was uh, should make it easier. And as I go around and I find more and more loot crates over time, I'll put these pillars down. And then what I can do is I can, I know an easy way to find them, but I'll get myself an ichthyosaurus. And then we'll be able to get around a lot quicker. So the, the basilosaurus I'm using, it's very, very slow. It's, it's a lot safer near those areas, but it also helps me carry the pillars. So I'm going to keep on searching. The next one is uh, 29.8 east. So it's not too far off, but uh, yeah, we'll go and look for the next one. Once we found that, I'll bring you back. <laughs> As luck would have it, uh, the second loot crate just happens to be 
right at the last uh, spawn point. So there's the 16 spawn points in total. All of them starting, well, depends where you want to start. I mean, I start in the southeast corner and work myself all the way around to here, but this is where it ends. There's no more after this. Uh, so, again, I mean, I, I don't, I mean, it is tempting to sort of like open that and see what's in it, but uh, for one thing, I need to go back to base and uh, get myself some pillars. I mean, to be fair, that one is a really easy one to spot, but. Uh, yeah, I'd rather still put the pillars down all the same. So, we're going to head back to base, and then we're actually going to start searching for this um, this mythical water dino, because I'm surprised I haven't seen one, because usually there's, uh, they, they tend to sort of like, uh, congregate close to where you do find these uh, loot crates, so I do normally bump into one every now and again, but once I put those pillars down, it means I'm going to have to go back out in search of one. So, once you find one, I'll bring you back. Aha, well, finally found one of these uh, mythical creatures. It's a, uh, what is it? It's a uh, Leo Pluridon. I don't know why, for some strange reason, I thought you had to turn them up with, uh, with beer, but it's not. You actually need um, giant bee honey, so I'm just having a look around, because I know it, it doesn't like uh, Tim's. Oh, it's coming straight for this dude as well. Because I've, I've actually swapped um, my teams around. We, we went back to base. And I, I swapped uh, Basil around for Boris. Because the uh, he'd taken quite a few knocks. He's been up against about two... Two, 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 two this is uh, like the Alphas. So that's, uh, that was quite a lot. So basically we're going to have to go up and find this dude here. So let's put you on passive. Just because I don't want you attacking anybody. Nope. Right, where is it? It's over there. Right. I'm going to clear the area out first because I've, I've, I've already taken out two. Um, oh, what do you call them? Pleasies. There was two pleasies down there. They were giving me grief. It's taking those ones out. I need to stay out of its way because I, I, I know it's, it's going to come and attack me. Or at least it'll attack... Uh, Basil there. Come on, do you want to come over this way? Oh, so I'm dunk you over there. If I can just get it to get it to lose aggro, it might be a bit easier actually. But if I go up higher up, it might be better. Yeah, it's lost interest. Right, so just curiosity to see if we can go in there. Uh, Tame that one. So as, as I say, as, I, for some reason I was convinced it was um, it was actual uh, beer that you needed. Now this is interesting. Can I can I, can I just give you some? Can I, can I, can I, can I, oh, we're brushing up against the sides here. There we go. Right. Oh no! No 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 no! Right, oh, this is not what I need, a bloomin' angler fish. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Where's that angler fish gone to? This is not good when I'm brushing up against the side of a bloomin' map. The funny things, the angler fish, the way they're so like, they'll attack you, then they'll run away. Darn sneaky. Right, I'm just curious. I'm I don't know if this will work, but can we put you into a cryopod? Um, we'll get these two apart because there's, there's a very limited time that I've got that's that I've got control of this thing. But I'm see there, like half an hour. Yeah, I have a funny feeling it won't let me. Yeah, that could have been a game changer. That that would have been extremely handy. Right, okay. Uh, right. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, if you stay on passive, you follow because you can see we've got a buff down there now, which is Mystic Oil. We're sort of like halfway between both, so I don't know how fast this dude is compared to, to you, but if we go up to the... Wow, this thing is slow. 
<laughs> this thing is extremely slow. So I've got like half an hour with that uh, buff. So theory, I mean, I could actually afford to lose it. If I can get between those two points in the space of half an hour, that's not too bad. Uh, but otherwise, we're going to have to head all the way over to... Um, oh, this thing's running out of stamina. I think I'm going to have to get this dude to follow... Um, I'm going to have to swap over. I'm going to have to get you to, to follow, aren't I? Right, we're going to get this dude here to follow. Because I think he'll go a lot quicker because of the stamina problem. Yeah, so as long as we stick to the surface, I'm feeling quite fortunate. So... We're going to head over, right over to the northwest, because that's where we found our first one. Oh, Stroopy is really struggling to keep up. Right, hopefully we'll get there in time. Okay, right, we're going to leave this dude here for now, because uh, we've got this buff, and um, it stays with us for a short period of time. So you can see there's the pillars down there. So that buff is starting to tick down now. It's giving us what? 300 seconds there. But we've now got a buff, which is good. So, I don't think there's anything in the... Oh, there's a... I think I'm going to make a quick dash for that. And a quick dash out. Right. If I can take this to the top, I can lose it. So I'm not sure what we've got there. I didn't pay much attention, to be honest, because of the fact that I knew there was a Tuso nearby. So if we head up to the service, we should lose that. So that's not too bad. I mean, we had 300 seconds before the buff wears out. So you've got to be within proximity of the uh, Leopluridon uh, for that. Otherwise, the buff itself runs out. So you've got it for half an hour. And... I think that seems to be the, the safer bet, is to just basically leave it somewhere safe. I mean, I'm, I'm sticking close to the surface. So you can see, I mean, I've got this buff. It's not it's not timing out now, because we're close to the legal pluridon. Uh, as soon as it'll catch up, that timer will disappear. Uh, or it should do. Yep, it's gone. Right, so now we need a... I want, ser seriously, dude, I, I, I know you want to have fun, but... We need to head over in this direction now. So, we're going to head over to the second one now. Well, we're closing in on the uh, the second loot crate. I mean, I've been checking everywhere as I go just to make sure I can clear the area out ahead of us. So, I mean, every so often I've got to stop for a... I keep calling them a dude. It's actually a dude. <laughs> but I've got to keep stopping every so often to make sure uh, she catches up. And if there's anything in, you know, up ahead, then I'll I'll take her off follow and I'll uh, clear the area out with the uh, the Basilosaurus here. So we've got a buff. So let's go and see what we've got in this one then. No, wrong button. Uh, journeyman stuff. So that kind of sucks. Always hoping for something a bit better, but hey. It's all random. Nope, it's not that key, man. Use the other key. <laughs> so we're kind of stuck now. I mean, uh, how long have we got you for now? She's got about ooh, just over eight minutes or so. So she's gonna she's gonna despawn in a short while. It's gonna be about forty minutes before any more loot crates spawn. Because as I was saying, I mean, there's only two of them in existence at any moment. Once you open the first loot crate, it starts a 25 minute timer. Once you open up the, the second one, if you've done that before the, the next one's uh, spawned, then it, uh, you've got to wait 40 minutes. So it's, um, yeah, she's gonna, she's gonna basically despawn way before, you know, the next loot crate's due, because you only get, you only get off for like half an hour. But in terms of what we got, um, I mean, that's, that's pretty good. I'm pleased with that, actually, because part of the reason I come down here is to get things like decent fur armor, uh, scuba gear. I think you can get riot gear as well. Uh, you, can see, you can obviously get Gilly and uh, 
compound bows, but that's that's pretty good. I'm pleased, even even though that's what we've pretty much just got. That's that's a good one. That one. and uh, I don't think I particularly need an electric prod, but I'm sure I'll get some decent uh, resources back from that one uh, when we put it into the grinder. But yeah, that's that's definitely a good I uh, think I have. Just out of curiosity, it's funny because you look at that, it says this mystic snake oil just says you're feeling lucky. If you... If I can untangle, can you... I, I, can you just, like, can you just stay where you are a minute? And I, I'll... I'm crying out loud, we're, we're, we're really stuck now. <laughs> oh no. Right, well I'm going to find a way to try and untangle myself from this, uh, this little lady here. Because we are seriously stuck. I'm probably gonna have to. I, might, I think I might have. To, I mean, I could try and put him into a cryopod, but he's got, he's got that many things in his uh, inventory. I don't think I want to. Yeah, I don't think I want to sort of like uh, pop in with a cryopod. I might have I think I'm gonna have to wait until she despawns. <laughs> just, just seriously stuck. I, oh, for crying out loud! This is crazy. Right, I'll be back in a minute. Now there's a something to think about. I wonder if I get uh, better quality if I, you know, if I try and open just a normal loot crate, one of the uh, surface ones. I mean, I basically, to untangle those, I've just got her to unfollow, uh, to follow me. Um, okay, so that's a bunch of junk. That was wishful thinking. Maybe, maybe it only works on the deep sea loot crates. Anyway, I think we're just going to wait a while and then we'll say goodbye to our Leo Pluridon, because the next thing I want to do is go in search of decent ichthyosauruses. I mean, the, as far as I'm aware, the actual mantas are better, but the trouble is they're quite vicious. Uh, they are harder to tame. They're a passive tame, the ichthys. 75. Yeah, so that's a 75 female. So, yeah. How long have we got you for? Ah, oh, just a few minutes. So, wait a few minutes. We'll say goodbye to her. And then we'll go in search of Ichthys. Right, and so, finally, we managed to find a decent Ichthy. Uh, this one here is a level 145. Serves it's a, it's a simple kibble tame, so it's a it's a passive tame. I'm just gonna have to be careful. That's one thing I like about Ichthys actually is that they're attracted to the uh, to your tame mount, but it's that 145 that I want. I'm gonna have to be really careful because I've got blowing them. Um, I've got mantas in the area. I've already cleared like things like um, pleasies and all sorts around here. Oh, Struth, this is a pain. Go away, manta. Oh, now all the mantas are coming in this direction. This is not good. I, last thing I want to do is clear out a bloom and decent level Ichthy while I'm getting rid of mantas. Seriously, Ichthys, go away. Now is not the time. I need to get rid of these mantas first. I've got some annoying things. Go away. Go away. Seriously. It's not in your interest. <laughs> Look, I appreciate, the, I appreciate the enthusiasm, but go away. I need to get rid of these, this blubbing mander, it's going to be a pain in my neck if I don't. Go away. Right, I'm, I'm, I can see this is going to be a bit tricky, so I'll be back in a minute. Oh, finally. Wow. Took a while chasing this dude around, mind. Right, so I'm going to pop you into a cryopod. Then I'm going to go and look for a female. Well, you've got to search far and wide, but this was handy. Um, I've been clearing out some, some ichthys up here. I've been just going up and down the west coast. There was two of them have just suddenly popped up next to me. Are you there? Oh, you are the 140. Yeah, there was that, that one over there came up as well. That was a level 75, I think. Uh, here you go. Oh, stay still. Where have you gone? Where'd you go? There you are. Come here. Come, 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 come. Look, will you stay still? Stay still, man. I can't feed you if you're going to run away. Right. Come here, Basil. Right, I'm going to have to keep up with her and stay out the way of blooming sharks and mantas. I can't believe it. I've even taken a blooming level 145 manta out over in this area. Right, so we'll wait for her to get hungry again. 
then we'll tame her up. Well, we're back at our water base. Uh, so I've got these two breeding up. Uh, it, was a, <laughs> it was a bit of a lucky escape, actually. The female there uh, on the right, uh, she was right down to the wire on health. Uh, I mean, I, I jumped off the, the Basilosaurus to, to like, um, you know, give her a last feed. Uh, then I popped her into a cryopod, or at least I tried, and then a bunch of jellyfish just turned up all at once. So I had to clear them out. Uh, by the time I'd done that, it looks like she'd run off because there was uh, a, lot of, a lot of like yellow numbers suddenly like, you know, scrolling up there on the screen. Uh, I noticed she was getting attacked by a bunch of uh, mantas, so I managed to clear them out. Popped her straight into a cryopod, brought her back here, and it was it was literally right down to the wire. I, I just managed to get enough food into her uh, to keep her alive because she was down to like 75 health, no food. But fortunately, the uh, the do heal up quickly because they, they don't have much points. I mean, the only thing I'm interested in really is probably stamina and uh, being able to level our speed. I'd imagine it's no point putting into things like you know health or melee. Or, I'm not going to use one of these to suddenly go out and attack anything. But uh, it's surprising she actually does better than him. I mean, he's got, what, uh, 1920 there versus 1980. So she was a 140 and he was a 145. But, um, yeah, I mean, the, the, the reason I'm actually breeding them is just to save me the hassle. Because, I mean, it's not passive tames aren't that particularly difficult. Except for the fact you've got to start chasing things around. Uh, and also you've got to then find a high level one in the first place so it's to me I think it's easier just to get these two will breed up a, another Rixie and then if for some unfortunate reason we manage to lose it uh, we can always just you know breed up another one and that, that's what I'll, I'd rather do rather than keep every time you know we lose one go back out and search for another one it uh, saves me the time I think time and hassle but um, yeah we'll wait for these to breed up uh, get ourselves an ichthy. I've, I've been back to the main base. I've got all sorts of bits and bobs here to, to try and imprint it as best we can. Now, the, the one thing I'm a bit bothered about, actually I'm going to get out of here because I'm I'm starting to run out of stamina. The one thing I'm starting to get bothered about is um, when we came over to here uh, at the start of this episode, those two Basilosauruses were right over there. And when I checked the inventories, one of them had megalodon teeth in it. So it looks like a megalodon actually spawned in this little area. I mean, we've got um, we've got the, the megatherium army up there with daedons. Uh, we've got our two basilosauruses in here, yet a megalodon still managed to spawn here. I mean, we've got a gate, we've got a, a fence, a fence, and another gate there to block the area off. But you can. You can still get things spawning in here, so I'm, I'm tempted to get myself some uh, some guard dogs. I think I might go out and get some megalodons. Nothing fancy, just a uh, just a few to just to keep the area um, well blocked off, if you will. And then if anything does attack, uh, they can help out. Because the thing that bothers me is, I mean, those you know we're going to breed these things up as soon as I've got one. I'll put those into cryo, um, take them back to base. These two will always stay here. The the thing that I'm bothered about most is that when I go out uh, looking for those deep sea loot crates, I'll, I'll jump off the Basilosaurus, but I'll leave it on passive. Because if anything attacks the Basilosaurus while I'm off, if that thing attacks it, it could end up anywhere, you know, chasing after whatever's attacking it. In the meantime, something's attacking me. So I'd rather, like... I'd rather basically have the Basilosaurus do literally nothing and then I can jump back on it quickly. Um, it's better for both of us in the long term, I think. But um, yeah, the trouble then is if I bring these back and they're on passive, yeah, that's going to be pretty nasty if like a Megalodon spawns in here. I mean, it doesn't need anything particularly high, but eventually they'll just rip these things to bits if they don't uh, fight back. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty tempted to actually get myself some some megalodons of my own just to keep guard of the place but in the meantime anyway we'll get these uh, carrying on breeding then we'll get our ichthy uh, or at least our new ichthy where we can go out and uh, we'll have to get that thing leveled up so we can start using that uh, I was actually quite fortunate to find this journeyman saddle at some point so that's been sitting in a box for a while so we'll be able to put that to use so see you shortly well this is Itchy, 
Uh, she came out with the same stamina as the as the father, which was 1920. Didn't go up. She was fully imprinted, so it didn't go up at all. But uh, she came out with 120 speed, which is good. I mean, I've managed to put one level into us so far, and it's, the speed's only gone up like by 1.8, which isn't that wonderful. But she can really outmaneuver things, which is ideal. She was, uh, she's still really, really fast. And that's what I want. Is I, need, I need to be able to get around the map a lot quicker. Uh, just make sure none of these things are still... Oh, that's right. It's, that's a good distance away. I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to find um, find uh, Rainbow because I left her over here so that I could... Uh, I wanted to put her into a cryopod, but as soon as I got out, there was a ton of uh, megalodons and what have you in the water. Right, pop you into a cryopod. Right, now we should be able to get around a lot, lot quicker. So we can just literally just whiz by. So, first one, 89.7, 90.6. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm just going to basically, you know, whiz around the uh, the map at a much quicker rate. We'll find out whether we've got any, you know, we'll find out where the crates are. I mean, I, I can't actually, you know, get her to carry the pillars, they're just going to be too heavy for her. But at least we'll be able to get around a lot quicker. And then once I've uh, identified where the crate is, then we can just come back. Now there's a, like electric eels over there for instance, which is not good, but she'll be able to outpace them. So, 89.7. So it's slightly further north. Yeah, there's nothing there coming in this direction. So it's slightly to if it was here, it would be about here anyway. So I think that's a pretty safe bet. It's not here. Yeah, eighty-nine points. Oh, God. don't do that. You spook me. <laughs> oh, it's true. Eighty-nine point seven. Oh, oh no, 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 no! This is not good. Right. So see if she can. Just outpace it a bit. Ooh, that was a lucky call. Yeah, so that that's the downside. You've got to be really careful. Ooh, so you can outpace things, but you've really got to keep your wits about you to make sure there's nothing coming after. So we're going to go around the map. We're going to find our next two loot crates. Um, so the only thing that's really different now is we'll be able to get around quicker. Uh, but I'm going to have to go back to base to get some pillars. Uh, once we find those actual loot crates, uh, we'll go down then with, uh, I think it's, I think it's either Basil or Boris I've got, I think it's, who have I got this time? Oh, I can't tell. Um, we'll go down then, put the actual pillars down, and then we'll be able to uh, go out and look for a, uh, a Leopluridon. So basically the process is the same, except now it's just going to be quicker. So, we're going to keep searching, and then once we get our next two loot crates, I'll bring you back. Oh, this is an extremely, extremely lucky find. Uh, I've been searching for a Leopluridon. I've just been around with the Basilosaurus putting the pillars in. I mean, the uh, the loot crates, uh, one's down on the south coast, the other one's literally just around the corner from where we're at. Uh, I, found a, I found one over on the west coast. It was just outside where that underwater cave is. Uh, so I thought, well, that's going to be too far. Um, so I thought, come all the way up the east coast. So I came all the way up here with a Basilosaurus. Uh, and right at the last minute, we managed to find one. So I've, I've started clearing the area out. Because uh, there was some electric eels and there was some um, megalodons around here and anglerfish. So yeah, I'm extremely pleased with that. I mean, I've, I've been able to get around the map really quickly with the uh, with the ichthy. The only thing is the um, I think there was one area. I'm just gonna double check. There's nothing around. I think there was like one area where I had to literally get off, and that was because it was it was just there was just so many electric eels around. Uh, I wouldn't have stood a chance with just the ichthy, but uh, yeah, swapped them over and we're fine after that. Right, okay, so we'll put you on passive. Right, so come on. May as well go and get that crate and see what's in it, and then we can 
The other one, as I say, it's all the way down on the towards the southeast, so it should be all right. You coming? Right. Yeah, I know. I know. Right, so the other one is just to the right. Well, the first one we're going to go for is just around this corner. Is that what I think? Oh, it's a donkey. That's oh, all right. I think we're all right. Okay, against one of those. As long as you don't annoy them, we should be fine. Anything else around? No. Nope. Right. Have a quick check. Ooh, so at least we've got, well, I would have preferred a blueprint, but, you know, I guess can't be choosers. So we're going to head all the way down the east coast now. I'm just going to stick to the surface as best I can. Um, hopefully she can, he or she, will be able to keep up. Uh, we'll have to keep stopping every every so often, but the, I mean, the, um, the ichthy hardly had to stop at all. I mean, I think it was only every time we got to another point, should get uh, should get our health um, our stamina back anyway, so we were pretty fine really. So right, we'll go off in search of the next loot crate. As I say, it's all the way down on the south coast, so it's going to take a while. So once we get there, I'll bring you back. Yeah, that's that's much easier to find once you put the pillars in. Right, come on you, let's get down there and see what we get this time. Just going to double check. There's nothing nasty's going to jump out at me. I mean, I've still got the buff anyway, so I don't mind if that uh, thing has to catch up. Oh, oh, oh that, that, that is worth it. <laughs> so that's uh, so that's two runs. Definitely easier on the second run going out with the Yixi. Much, much quicker. Uh, the only drawback is, I mean, these Leo Pleurodons are really slow. So like, yeah, once you've found the, the loot crates, it, um, you pretty much may as well just go back to a Basilosaurus, because, I mean, this thing outpaces the bloomin' Leo Pleurodon anyway. And I've got to drag it around. I don't, I don't know how many sort of um, Megalodons went through. Megalodons went through, well, we, we mustn't have picked up the tooth, because we, we took out an Alpha Megalodon. I had to basically clear everything in our path coming down that coast. So how much time? That's not too bad. Seven and a half minutes to spare, so that's pretty good. Uh, but yeah, I'm, well, I've got to admit it is easy once you get that Ixie. Uh, but uh, yeah, you still need like a, something like a Basilosaurus just on the off chance you run into something pretty nasty at the other end. I mean, I wouldn't want to jump off or go in search of things, you know, using that, uh, that Ixie. Um, if there's anything, you know, like a, an electric eel or something in the area, or a, or a pleasy, for instance, I'd rather clear the area out with a Basilosaurus. Well, anyway, that's it for this episode. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If so, then do please leave a like, as that'll help me out a great deal. If you're new to the channel and you'd like to see more content like this, then yes, do please subscribe. Just remember to click the little bell icon, because then you get notifications when I send you content out. And if you've got any comments, any suggestions, or to leave any feedback at all, Please leave that in the comment section below. Till the next episode, thanks very much for watching. Bye!